In this tutorial we'll go over the creation of a ticker template and the creation of a ticker format. We'll start off by creating a new template again and renaming this template to ticker in. Now the first object we have to add is the ticker object and this can be done from the add object library by selecting the ticker. Once this is added, we can reshape and resize the ticker, of course. So by double clicking on the ticker itself, I can set the width and height of my ticker, where the width in this case is going to be 1920, and my height can be something like 60. I also have another button available here called the Copy from Transform Gizmo button. This button will allow me to take over the values I've set by using the scaling gizmo on the stage. As soon as I use the transform gizmo for my object on the stage, my object will be scaled. And as you can see, it will start to crop my image of my ticker. Of course, I don't want this, so I want to use a full scale of 100% and adjust the width and the height. But sometimes it's a lot easier to adjust my scaling based on the position on the stage. So in order to reset the skill to 100% and take over the size that has been set on the stage, we can press the copy from the transform gizmo and the scaling will be reset to 100% and the width and height will be adjusted to that. So all we have to do now is move the ticker down and place it at the bottom of the screen. This can be done by holding shift and moving down the arrow keys. And of course we need a background for this ticker, since our ticker is transparent and will only show text. So in order to add a background to this ticker, we are going to add a plane. And a plane is just a simple 2D square graphic, which we can use for creating backgrounds for instance. So to add a plane, in this case we're going to add a gradient plane. I highlight my gradient plane, press OK. And my gradient plane is added to my template. This object can of course be altered. So I want to set my width to match the width of my ticker, in this case 1920, and the height a bit higher than my original ticker value, so I'll set it to 80. Of course I can also adjust my gradient. In order to do this I have to go to materials, where I can select a certain material for my plane. There is a standard texture material attached, which allows me to map players to this plane. And in this case, a gradient plasma has been added to this plane, but I could also add a video player or an animation player or even a live player to this plane. So in order to adjust my gradient plasma, I'll just press the arrow key next to it and I can adjust my gradient and the coloring of it. I can add new gradients points by clicking in the middle of the gradient and I can set the coloring as well by clicking one of the flags and then highlighting and selecting a certain color. This looks okay, so now I can move my plane down in order to make a background for my ticker. The only problem currently is that it is still on the top graphics layer. I'll have to move it down in the layering on the left in order to position it behind the ticker with one of the arrow buttons on top. Now I can also set things like speed for my ticker and set a repeat functionality as well to repeat the stories I've been adding to this ticker. I always want to use a multiple of 10 for my speed in order to give the best result. So let's say I set my speed to 30. But in this case, I cannot add text to my ticker since the text to a ticker has to be added through a add ticker story command. To add this command to my ticker, I can go to the library on the right and go to the command section where I have multiple commands available which I can add for my templates like a GPIO command or a WSS command. But in this case, I want to use the add ticker story command to add a story to my ticker. By using ticker stories I can add multiple pieces of text to my ticker and add them at different times. So in this case I'm just going to add one ticker story and the first thing I will have to do is double click it and go over to the player section where I have to select a ticker to mount this ticker story to. In this case I have to select my ticker player from the ticker that is currently active on my template and I can also set a ticker number. 
this number is currently on zero, which is okay because we're only using one ticker story. And I can select my text. I can also set different settings for my font and my styling of my text. This can be done through textiles or through a custom setting. In a custom setting, I will have multiple settings available. I can set the size of my font, say 60. I can set a font file. I can use multiple fonts here just by adding them to the project assets. I can set an alignment, which I will leave on the default setting. I can also set styling in order to change the color of my ticker and change the border of a ticker. In this case, we could use a color green. Now, in order to play and start my ticker, I have to go to tryout mode because this ticker will require preloading. And now I can start my template and my ticker will run across the screen. Now, to create an animation for this ticker, to move it in and move it out of the screen, the best thing to do is to group the two objects together in order to save the amount of time we have to spend on creating our animation. So what I want to do is select both objects on the stage and press the G key on my keyboard and this will create a group of the, both the objects. Now I can start animating this sticker. So let's say I want to move in animation, so I move it down. I can add a keyframe or I can add a property keyframe of course. And I can create my animation by moving my player head to one second and then one second, altering the position and inserting a new keyframe. So currently I have an animation for my ticker created. So the only thing left now is to create our out animation and our out template. And again, this can be done by duplicating our template and creating our out animation. So I can click the duplicate template button again and rename my ticker to ticker out. Of course, I don't need the add ticker story command anymore since our ticker is already running. I do have to keep one thing in mind and that is to alter the player setting of my ticker. Because currently it is set to play, so as soon as my ticker out will start, my ticker will be reset. In order to prevent this, I can set my, the action of my ticker to no action to make sure that it uses the same state as it was already in. Once I've set, I've set my ticker player action to no action, I can reverse my animation by selecting all timeline items, going to tools and pressing reverse keyframes. So now when I go to tryout mode and play my ticker in, when I play my ticker out, the ticker won't be reset and it will still be running and moving out of the screen. Now, of course, we also have to add an out point again in order to stop our ticker from playing on screen. So I can right click on my group and press enable out point in order to end my ticker. So the next part will be to add a format to our project. And I will rename this format to DCK from ticker. Now I can double click the format and start adding my ticker templates. And I can set a reference to this with a from start from let's say 10 seconds and let the ticker run for 10 seconds and then remove it off screen again. So I'll set my out to 20 seconds. Currently the ticker text is fixed since I've added it to my ticker in template. But of course I can also use a scene parameter for this by setting a scene parameter for my add ticker story text by right clicking next to my text and linking it to a new scene parameter and filling in a name for my scene parameter, like ticker. Now when I go over to my format, I can set a reference for my ticker in. Of course, over here, we're not going to use a dynamic reference since this is a reference to the main event. But in this case, I will use an import field to make a reference to a data field in the schedule. I will have to set an import field name. This is defining the schedule. So let's say in this case, this could, this could be ticker. And the data field inside the schedule will fill the ticker story. 